Hello, welcome back. That's right, this is the second video of the week. Why, you ask? Because I'm not at work. Anyway, today's video is again a little bit different. I feel like I'm saying this at the beginning of every video at this point, but maybe maybe I should stop because I feel like every video is different. I couldn't help make a video about this topic because I found it way more freaky than I absolutely should have and I feel I have become attached to it a little bit. But anyway, without further ado, let's just get into the topic of the video. Now, me personally, I find something so creepy and like eerie fascinating about puppets and freaky looking animatronics. I think the way they move, the way they're made, the fact that they're not real but yet look so real at the same time is genuinely terrifying to me. Like for me, you know the sub mechanophobia thing that was pretty big on TikTok not that long ago? Instead of being like scared by it i wanted to find more images of these animatronics that were like molding and submerged in water i just i don't know why i just found it absolutely fascinating i don't know if that's a little bit morbid but honestly it was it was my jam it was really really fascinating especially this one do you remember the bun yip one <laughs> Yeah. Terrifying, but it's so fascinating at the same time. There's something so freaky about animatronics that are in water. It's it's great, I love it. And the fact that these creepy looking, almost human, animal, uncanny beings, creatures, can come alive with just the touch of a button or someone's hand being up its ass is incredible. That's amazing. I think it's such a clever like hobby or like a really creative thing to be into. The fact that you can make a whole entire puppet is incredible. And there are so many ways that puppets are used in like horror and like video games today. For example, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, which is one of my all time favorite TV shows slash internet series ever. I absolutely love it. And of course, not to mention the hit game series, Five Nights at Freddy's, <laughs> which again is another absolute internet favorite of horror animatronics you know it really like really got people thinking about Chuck E. Cheese and that the animatronics can come alive when we're not there but you know so in honor of this like amazing phenomenon or like genre of horror I wanted to talk about the freakiest yet most charming puppet that I've come across and this puppet actually has a pretty sad backstory believe it or not so this puppet right here this is Norman and we're going to talk about who he is where he came from and where he is now so where did Norman come from what is Norman's story well sit down grab a snack and I will tell you the life story of Norman I'll tell you the tale so have you ever heard of American rock band called Interpol no me neither but I did a little bit of research and they're, they're not half bad they're all right not really my cup of tea but they're okay and they released their second studio album Antics on the 3rd of January 2005 which is nearly 20 years old now and on this album there is a song called Evil and the song itself is actually believed to be about Fred and Rosemary West which is already pretty terrifying. For context if you have absolutely no idea who Fred and Rosemary West were they were a murderous couple here in the UK and um, a married couple who were kidnapped, kill and teen girls here in the UK and they would bury their remains under their houses. It's a huge story. If you if you actually want to know more about that case, please let me know because I'd be quite happy to cover it. But the song itself actually peaked at number 18 in the UK singles chart. And I have to admit, the song is pretty good. It is now in my Spotify playlist. It, it's kind of a banger. But the music video to this song is where it truly, truly gets interesting. So the song itself depicted a car crash. And I don't mean metaphorically the music video was a car crash. I mean, the literally, the music video was about a car crash. And in this this video it shows the puppet this puppet going through this car crash and it shows it being taken to hospital in an ambulance singing the lyrics of the song and then frantically dancing on the operating table like the silly little goober that he is the video was actually shot over a course of 17 hours and the puppet itself was programmed so to sing the song and it took a total of six puppeteers to manually move the head and eyes of the puppet that had to then be digitally removed from the music video. And straight away this music video was an instant hit with fans and that led to the puppet being given the name Norman. So the Norman name is just a fan thing, it's not its actual name. But he developed a cult following and everyone loved him. He was, he was the 
true star of the show. Shortly after this masterpiece of a music video was published and shared with the world, the whereabouts of Norman ended up being a complete mystery. People were begging for Norman's return, for him to come back and be shoved into the limelight and to reach stardom again, but it didn't happen because nobody knew where on earth Norman was. No one could find him. Had Norman, you know, kind of gained sentient being and gained human-like thoughts and got up and moved away to the Arctic and lived a whole quiet life by himself away from the starlight, away from the fame? I don't know. But fans had been looking for the whereabouts of Norman for years and no one knew where he ended up. Had he been sold? Was he being used for something else? Was he being used for a secret project? Was he destroyed? Or had he been placed in a box and completely forgotten about? Unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. Well, in 2014, a whole entire decade later, somebody somehow by complete coincidence came across Norman. He was listed on an online auction website as quote animatronic creepy ghoul puppet from a music video and oh my god is this not the most terrifying thing you've ever seen in your entire life but nonetheless the puppet was indeed Norman. Bro had just been decaying rotting away for the past 10 years. Norman had actually only ended up being sold for just a few hundred dollars and he'd passed owners a couple of times after this. His foam skin was almost completely decayed it had turned green and it was cracking and the cracks look like real human skin his eyes were completely damaged and his leg had actually come off bro bro was in a bad shape but then in 2019 the godsend of john colbeck enters this story and he oh is the savior he is norman's god because he saved him and he he's a legend. He ended up purchasing the puppet and then he set up a GoFundMe which was for the purpose of completely restoring Norman to his once former glory. And it was successful and raised enough money to quote, save Norman the puppet. And not only that, John Colbeck actually considers Norman to be quote, part of his family. This guy has such an interest for puppets and it's absolutely fascinating. Not only that, he also said he lets Norman sit at the dinner table with him which is so creepy yet kind of adorable and John Colbeck actually has a YouTube channel where he posts what he's doing with his puppets and what Norman is up to currently. As of 2020 the puppet is working again and is currently being used for videos on John's channel. I'll leave a link to John's channel below if you want to go and check it out. It's a very very interesting watch as Norman is being used for horror themed puppet videos and in March of 2022 a video was revealed which showed Norman's full puppet restoration return turning him to his former glory. But what are the plans for Norman the Puppet now? Well, John actually started this with the intention of creating a TV show for Norman that Norman could be the host of, which would be such a cool idea, like Sesame Street for adults. But where that currently is in production, I can't say as I have no idea. That is where the story pretty much ends. And I know this was a short video, but I thought this was such an interesting topic. And now I know Norman is a puppet and he's not a real person, but it just makes me so sad to think that he was completely forgotten about for a whole entire decade after putting his whole normalcy into that music video. And if it wasn't for John Colbeck, Norman wouldn't have got a second chance at stardom that he so wholeheartedly deserves. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please let me know. Please leave video requests or suggestions in the comment box below. If you prefer more short form content, then please follow me on TikTok. TikTok. And if you want to see the behind the scenes of my life, then please follow me on Instagram. Both of these are linked down below in my link tree. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. See you later.